Well, I'm out here running solo this morning, and uh, I got 12 decoys out here with a mojo, and we've already had a bunch, a ton of mallards come in here, probably 40 or 50 of them, but it's not legal yet. I got a couple minutes yet here. Got 714, legal's 716. So I got a couple minutes, but they're all sitting right out here. A lot of them landed in my decoys, and then I booted them up. And uh, they're sitting out here on the ice. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. And they're all sitting right out there. So we have a bunch that showed up already, but just a little too early. I'm sure we'll get some stragglers in here. And I'll bring you some action. Hopefully we can put some green on the, on the ground here. We will find out. Well, we didn't get scucked. We got one green head for sure. So, and we also bumped all them other birds out of here, which is good because a lot of them birds were zeroing in on obviously the live birds that were out there in that hole. I was just lucky enough to get them birds to lift back up and swing over here for me to get a shot. Otherwise, they'd have dumped right into them. I just screamed to them with a call just to get them back up, but. They should decoy pretty good now that we got all them live birds out of there. That was a pretty cool encounter. I just had uh, two fox come out here. One walked right up to them. I had a couple ducks sitting in a hole, uh, open hole over here by the bank and that fox walked right up to that duck and then uh, ended up going across and there's another fox behind that one and it 
came from this side and then the other fox was barking at it from the other side and then just chased it back into the woods over here but that first one walked only about 25 yards from me right here I could have shot it but no sense shooting it because I'd put so many holes in it I'm shooting BB right now so I'm certain I could have killed it but I wouldn't be able to do anything with it I wouldn't be able to skin it or nothing so it'd be kind of a waste so it's a cool encounter though now if we could just get some more ducks to come in here we'd be all set that's gonna do it for this morning's duck hunt uh, it's pretty crappy I shot my gun twice and killed one duck but uh, I'll end this video I got a bunch of questions that I haven't got answered on my YouTube channel in the past couple duck hunts I'll answer a bunch of those questions that you guys asked when I get back here's my my one duck from this morning so still a good time I'm gonna get all this stuff packed up and head out and answer a bunch of questions for you guys we are back at the house and uh, as I said I'm gonna answer some questions for you guys first one is from uh, crappy dev he asks if you're using buckshot and then goes on to say shot two boxes of shells a season and didn't kill one duck <laughs> no uh, this time of year I always use BB and uh, for ducks and geese a lot of people say that that's too big for ducks but in the late season their dow feathers are, are really tough I mean it takes a lot to put them on the ground and uh, I've always had the best success using BB so that's what I use and I use it pretty much year round if I'm shooting woodies in the early season I usually shoot uh, number two but otherwise I stick with BB the master cheese says were those tracers I saw <laughs> no we never shot tracers at ducks all these questions are referring to my last uh, couple duck hunting videos so no we don't shoot tracers Bill said good shooting do you guys eat all those birds yes we don't necessarily eat them all we do indeed breast every one of them I have a big chest freezer that's full of goose and uh, duck breast meat but I do give them away to a lot of people and uh, we eat as much as we can we uh, try to to uh, space it out throughout the year because you don't want to eat duck and goose every day for you know a month straight Brady says uh, you shoot the Versamax right yep I do I shoot the Versamax and he said that he's been having problems with the second round <clears throat> or the second shell doesn't feed sometimes I've never had any problems with it other than the uh, charging handle getting blown out when I shoot three and a half inch load sometimes when it's really bitter cold out I've had my charging handle break two times you know snap right off but Remington's been really good about it I just call them and uh, they'll send me a new one right away and replace it Marsh Outdoors said nice pintail do you use all GoPros to film your hunts no uh, I use I use anywhere from four to seven GoPros on each hunt depending on whether it's like my point of view or I, I spread them out usually and have it hooked to a remote where I can control whether or not they're recording or what settings I have on them but I, for my main camera I have a Canon HFR Vixia 700 and that's what I use for my main camera I'm going to be upgrading that here very soon though once I get enough money made I'm going to be getting a 4k camera and it's going to be really nice quality Chris asks, what shotgun is that? I'm shooting the Versamax. Steven says, this is my favorite YouTube channel because it's based in New York where I'm from. Do you guys, are you guys going to do any snow goose hunts or jumps this year? Unfortunately, we really don't get any snow geese down here. Uh, on occasion, we'll get like the, the snow goose that flies with the Canada's, but we, there's not, this is not a flyway for the snow geese. We do not, you know, go out with thousands of decoys and make fields white with uh, snow goose decoys you just don't have them down here I would like to snow goose hunt sometime though eventually uh, it's definitely something I'm, I have on my bucket list that I'm gonna go do but no we do not specifically hunt them here <clears throat> unfortunately I, I wish they would come through here GD Buck says as cold as it is here in the eastern side of New York how are you gunning bare handed ah uh, good question I have 
hand warmers in my uh, the front pocket of my vest every every time I hunt and when I'm not on my guns or calling my hands are in there and my calls I stuck I stick in there too so they don't freeze up so that's why I, I'm usually barehanded. Trey Wall says what kind of call is Brock using? I agree with the others these birds don't seem to stand a chance when you start shooting. Ah, uh, you know I'm not I can't think of for sure what uh what call he uses for sure or not. I'll give him a call here and find out for you. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, how's it going, Brock? It's going. Hey, I got a question on my YouTube channel. A guy asked what what call do you run for duck hunting? What call is it? It's the Echo XLT. There you go, folks. He's running the Echo XLT for a duck call. I got you live on YouTube right now. Live on YouTube? <laughs> Semi live. Oh, gosh. Okay, Danny asks What's up with the flintlock? You didn't give up, did you? No, I did not. I was. Actually successful yesterday evening and killed a uh, big doe with the flint lock. As unbelievable as that sounds, it happened finally. And that video will be coming to you tomorrow. So I'm uh, excited to get that video up. And uh, I put a lot of time and a lot of uh, effort into flint lock hunting this year. And, and just kept going and kept going and kept going and, and finally got it done. So I'm pretty excited about it. The Outdoorsman. Awesome video as always. What site do you use on your shotgun? It's called the Dead Ringer. It's a great site. At least I think it is. Johnny Sapp. Where in western New York are you located? I'm as far west as you can get in New York State. I'm in Chicago County. So that's where I'm at. Do you ever do any predator hunting? I don't really personally do it very much because I don't have necessarily the right equipment for it, but uh, I have a buddy that does it a lot and is pretty successful with it. Someday, hopefully he can get some equipment where he can do some video in while he does it and I can put that on here and show you guys his predator hunts. Jason, how good are they to eat? Talking about the ducks. I think they're pretty good if you cook them right. I mean, it all really depends on how you cook them. And you gotta, I think it's important to soak them in salt water for a day or so to get that gamey taste out of them. But it's really just in how you cook them. Kenty70, gonna get them mounted, talking about my pintail. Absolutely, the duck's already sent out to a guy in uh, upstate New York that's gonna be doing it for me. I'm gonna get a flying mount. I'll show you a picture of how I'm getting them mounted. I'm gonna get them out just like that. So uh, I'm not going to get it back for about a year or so, but I'm excited excited for that. It's my first duck I'm ever getting mounted. Christopher Lackey, how do you keep the camera batteries working in the cold? I, I have multiple GoPro batteries with me all the time, so I can just switch them out and uh, try to keep them as warm as possible. Uh, you know, if, if the battery's running out on one and it starts blinking, you can put it in your pocket with a hand warmer and you can warm it back up and, and get a lot more battery life out of it. Or if it, you were really desperate, you could actually tape a hand warmer to it and to the back of it where the battery is, and then that makes it last a lot longer as well. I've done that before. Family First Homestead. Do you get any mounted, Cliff? I had my Wood Duck Drake mounted last year. This was, that pintail is the first one I've ever got, or I'm getting mounted. That's the first one I've ever done. So, pretty excited. William, what size choke and shot do you use? I, it, it always actually varies. I change my choke out, usually depending on what I'm hunting and uh, kind of where I'm hunting. If uh, I'm hunting geese in a field, I usually run a full choke, obviously using a BB as my shot size. Now, if I'm hunting ducks, in uh, one of our swamps or something, I always shoot modified. And uh, I still shoot BB most of the time. If it's early season, I'll shoot number twos, but late season, I'm always shooting BB. I like shooting a full choke for geese just because it's such a big target. I like putting as many 
you know, if I'm on it, I'd like to put as many BBs into it as possible. Whereas a modified, I have a little bigger pattern out to 40 yards than what I'd like. I'd like my pattern to be pretty tight still. That's going to do it for the questions. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, just go ahead and leave a comment below. And then on another video like this, I'll answer them for you. Stay tuned to uh, my channel. I'm going to have my flintlock hunt coming tomorrow. And I'll give you a little sneak peek at that right now.